Hello and welcome to a, a rather special Beer with Raggy. Um, today I'm going to celebrate the collaborations I've been involved in and beers, commercial beers made for Raggy's beer reviews. So none other than Lincoln Green's Raggy's Golden Ale. I'll show you, um, well I'll talk, yeah, one minute, the gallery. And there we go. The very first collaboration, Raggy's Golden Ale with Lincoln Green Brewing Company, based out of Hucknall. You know, it was a very proud moment for me to go over to the brewery as a beer fan slash reviewer slash somebody who, you know, will say what he likes and does what he likes. Um, that was quite the moment for me, 3.8%. When it came into the pubs, Craig from Kent Beer Reviews came up to Nottingham. Uh, he sampled it on cask. And I've got to be honest, on cask, it was absolutely top notch. Bottle, it was good, but cask was absolutely king. Regard, you know, really was. From there, um, the Bang the Elephant Mega Brew for the 2021 Robin Hood Beer Festival. Now, even though I'm not on there, breweries including Alter Ego, Urban Chicken Ale, Linear, Linear Brewing Company, of course, Beast and Harp, vaguely were invited, did not come, so they're not on there, Snenton Cider Company, Brew Day, Lazy Bay Brewing, Weckless Dweeb, Fire Rock Brewing Company, a place to brew. Young Nottingham, Young Camera, they were also there. The, them two, the beer pump clips are there. I'm still trying to get hold of the other pump clips. Um, from there, time passed really. Um, I'll show you the ones with Magpie Brewery. So we went down to Magpie Brewery. And while I was down there, there was a chap called Simon. I'd never met him before. Lovely chap. Um, started up his own brewery. Grumpy Fish Brew Company. And um, me, him and the Magpie team and Place to Brew brewed what what turned out to be free beers so now i hope i'm right uh, i may be wrong um, but i'm sure these are the free beers so ghost of a dying ember they've all got that crow theme going to them and it is a a chocolate honeycomb limpy stout 6.2 percent so if you had it at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival or, or elsewhere. The next one was the Forgotten Law. A Schwartz Beer Black Lager at 5.5%. And it's amazing how breweries will do a big brew and it can turn out to be several different things. So this is all from the one brew. Um, don't ask me how they do it. Yep, um, but it's beyond me. The next one was Knight's Plutonian Shore. I'm sure that's the one. I know the other two are the ones. I'm sure that's the third. It's got that crow theme again. And again, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't think I am. And that is a, a cherry and salted licorice black ghost. 5.1%. See how the ABVs change. I remember they said they were doing a ghost and a Schwartz beer out of this one mix and it's like uh, how <laughs> like i say beyond me so but i know that the one brew we did me grumpy fish and magpie the one brew we did did three different beers that i do know so last year again last year me i think it was simon again danielle from Nottingham Evening Post. She was definitely there. 
and it was Mind What You Rub. It was a rhubarb, ginger and chilli sour. Me and Danielle bought the rhubarb, or bought quite a bit of rhubarb. And there we go. That was at Nottingham Robin Hood Beer Festival last year on keg. So that was another raggy collab. So that's four collabs. So yeah, that's four beers with Magpie Brewery so far. Um, a beer with Bang the Elephant and a lot of other breweries. There's a beer, Raggy's Gold Nail, with Lincoln Green. We then go to Ragnify, the award-winning, untapped award-winning best milk stout of last year from uh, Raggy's Beer Reviews and Alter Ego Brewing Company. So, you know, that is quite the moment for me, that is. An award-winning beer, eh? Hey? Yeah, I had a part in it, yeah. <laughs> Some sort of a part, anyway. Um, so, literally, and I've had to steal the pump clip, because it's not, it's not the pump clip for this year, whether that pump clip changes. But that's what we just brewed, literally a couple of weeks ago. Green hopped, hoppily ever after. With Magpie Brewery. Um, and Happy Drinkers. So, the Happy Drinkers. Raggy's Beer Reviews and Magpie Brewery all got together there. And Red Dog. And Grumpy Fish. So, yeah. Because whatever people do, be it, albeit literally at one minute, two minute, or even six blooming hours, that is part of the collab, you know. And to be honest, if you stand there drinking beer, you're still part of the collab, because let's be fair, if you're invited and you didn't do it, then you've got away with it. <laughs> uh, Shaz Bot Nano Nano. Yeah, I literally did about two minutes working to just... Drinking 13% Imperial Stouts. I believe Michael, I do. I do. It was dishing them Imperial Stouts. And, I, and, I, and me me being me, big kid, um, with beer, I'll just get whopping them down, as you do. And then we did the other week as well. So, also, uh, and I can't show you this because the pump clip has not been finalised. So I can't show you the pump clip. What I can tell you is, um, so for Nottingham's Robin Hood Beer Festival, the the beer that Bang the Elephant have done, so the, fest, the beer for the festival is called Shot Through the Tart. It's a blueberry tart stout, a fish, official festival seller team beer, apparently. 5.9%. Brewed in collaboration with Reckless Dweeb, Beast and Up, Raggy's Beer Reviews. I'm on there. I'm on. Um, Linear, Snenton Cider Company. I don't know. Yeah, of course he was there. Bloody hell, me and him did beer reviews together. <laughs> Firewalk Brewing Company, of course. Urban Chicken. Badhead Brewing. I did actually do a beer review with that chap. Uh, but because there was an issue with the beer review, I had to kill the beer review i had to delete it for, our, for for reasons that are not for public consumption but yeah mardi bum brewing company were there and also grumpy fish so that pump clip will come out in the future whether it changes it might change so i, I can't show you the pump clip so they are the collaborations of raggy's beer reviews you know how cool is that that somebody who does beer reviews and you know, for a long, long time, was very much very pro-local. Um, joined in, you know, I mean, there are some breweries like Lincoln Green and um, Alter Ego where it was a raggy beer, you know. So for that, that is absolutely special beyond anything. But to join in on, on those, with those other breweries, on their collaborations with a load of other people, you know, really great breweries is amazing. And you know, from just doing bloody beer reviews, talking shite in a shed, yeah, yeah, that to be my, that, my name, talking shite in a shed, yeah. But, you know, um, hand on art, uh, they may, I may not say this at times to them, but you know, for every one of those breweries, and people that have invited me over the years, massive thank you. Which also brings me to another collab, not a collab, but a raggy beer. 
It's a dungeon brewing. But at the moment, uh, I've had to stop brewing for it for reasons of ill health. He has put it on the internet, and um, you know, mate, all of us out there in, in beer review and brewery land who know what's going off, you know, we're all with you, and we're all absolutely, um, you know, pray for you to get through this. You and Natalie, uh, and your son, obviously, and uh, you know beat it beat what you know what the situation is beat it and get back in and get back doing what you love so this is when dungeon brewing was doing actually doing more homebrew beers just before we went commercial and it was rags to riches and there you go and uh, it deserves it because we were going to do a collab but obviously things have changed and uh, you know it is it absolutely deserves to be be on on this video so there are other beers <laughs> so from brid brewer hence the video really so raggy's date with fate there we go 4.8 percent and uh i've got to remember what it was now a date stout subtle date flavors do you know, I can't even remember that one in, in, the, in the grand scheme of things. Um, Raggy's Hoppy and Knotty. Here we go. A pronounced orange and tropical fruit flavours. And then Raggy's Land of Infusion at 8.2%. And again, uh, a robust dark fruitcake fla flavours infused with spirit of old peculiar, which is, I think, a whiskey. Um, so, there are other beers um, that Brid Brewer has done. I've not collabed on those. So, they are raggy beers in my name, but not collabed on. Um, and you know, the story goes, we go back to 2022. It's gotta be 2022. And I think it was October, October, 2022. Liam Rusco had been telling me about this brewery in Bridlington. Um, we went down to Bridlington for the day. I went to the Weatherspoons. Uh, I had a beer, I was towing, doing there, and I says, uh, and it absolutely chucking it down like it is at the moment. And uh, I said to Andy and, um, and well, the ladies actually went off and did something else. I said to Andy, I says, I'm sure this bloody brewery's around here somewhere. And we found it, a brewery brewer and tap room. I thought, let's go in. So we went in and um, chat behind the bar. His name's Stuart, you know, Stuart Fisher. Uh, he's behind the bar and he's and he's got um, so many cast lines, loads of bottles in the fridge. I'm sure there was a keg as well. Anyway, we sat down and uh, we had a beer and it was absolutely tasting really nice, to be fair. There's a thing, beer on cask is always king. Beer in bottle, never never as good as cask, never. I think cask is always going to be king, regardless. Um, bottle, slightly different. Same beer, just bottle condition, you know, it is what it is. Um, and that's, that goes for every brewery. Anyway, we're in there. Uh, drinking the beer, looking around, as you do, being nosy, uh, looking at the kit. Uh, there, there was a, a smaller kit. There was quite, a, there was a bigger kit up the ways as well. And it was like a, it's classed as a tap room, but it's like a shop with two entrances. Um, there was a chap there, we're all talking, you know, you know, you know, do beer reviews, you do talk, especially when it's about beer. And, and this homeless chap came in, you know, you could tell he was down on his look, came in and the chap who was talking to us, turned around to him and says, oh mate, do you want, do you want a beer? 
and he bought him a beer and um and you know this chap could have been ex-army who knows you know i you know you don't know people's um stories we've all got a story you know we've not one of us in life unless you're bloody lucky has had the perfect life you know we've all had lives where moments where we've said something wrong you know none of us are perfect you know if, if you've gone through life without not dropping yourself in the shit at least once in your life then you've done bloody well and uh, yeah you are you deserve that halo above your bloody head but if like most people you'll say something and you'll regret it you know most people do regret things but in the heat of a moment you'll say something you think oh she really shouldn't have said that you know um and that's how most people are we say things we regret it god do beer reviews bloody hell there's been times on beer reviews when i think maybe i shouldn't have said that <laughs> push the boat a little bit too far there um, but anyway, yeah, this chap, um, this chap bought him a pint and, you know, I think he actually gave him a bit of money, you know, just to help him out. And, you know, it, it, that kindness, I mean, I don't know if he knew him. I, I think he did know him because he didn't really know his name. So he was obviously familiar to the people of Bridlington and I do hope he's, he's okay and I do hope he's you know, in a better place these days, or at least in a happy place, you know, um, it's tough, life's tough, life is absolutely tough, it, what we do in life, what we, what we choose to do in life, um, our relationships, our family, you know, you're born into a family, that does not mean your family are good, <laughs> no, no, it does not, you know, there are plenty of bad people in families, uh, and there are plenty of good people as well, uh, we should embrace the good. We should tell the bad to learn and, you know, as best as they can. Some people will never learn, you know, it is what it is. Um, but in essence, the reason for this beer, this collab, this, this uh, video is all about, you know, the collaborations of somebody who six years ago decided to start doing beer reviews you'd been in the beer industry since 2010 uh, left in 2015 and then you know but has drank beer for obviously a long time <laughs> um worked with some amazing breweries um you know and it's an honor it truly is an honor for them to, to put your name on a beer, to join up with fantastic brewers. They know what they're doing. I don't, you know. I've done about six all grain brews and literally three went brilliantly and a couple went absolutely, well, one went absolutely shy, but that's because I forgot to do the mashing. Don't do brewing when you're steaming. That's my, that's my uh, thing. And, um, yeah, so we're literally at this moment, Raggy's Beer Reviews, there are, there's the Bang the Elephant collab with all the other breweries that's coming to the Robin Hood Beer Festival. It will come to other places as well. Uh, I'm so looking forward to getting that. I'm trying, I'm trying to get to the beer festival. Um, Wednesday's the only date I can get to. I am hoping that I snag um, a ticket. <laughs> uh, lots of pubs get tickets, you know, and lots of breweries get tickets as well. Uh, never a beer reviewer, no, no. <laughs> Not across any local beer festivals, which is quite sad in some ways, you know. Uh, although this year, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival did say to me, we need to sort you out a complimentary beer ticket and i'm thinking that'll be nice but uh we'll see if it happens next year <laughs> they may come to me next year so, yeah we need to sort you out a complimentary beer ticket yeah cheers mate <laughs> but in essence not that i'm scrounging for beer tickets but you know uh wednesday's probably the only date i really want to review the the obviously obviously i really want to review 
the uh, Bang the Elephant collab with Bang the Elephant. Get them bloody on the review and all. Yeah, you, you ain't getting out of it, lads. I hope you're on the bloody. If I'm down there and you're on the bar, you get you're getting called in, and we're doing the review. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, and uh, yeah, I need to take the afternoon off work, or probably take the whole day off work. Yeah, I'm sure I've got the hours. Um, I'm hoping that Magpie Brewery, I, f I think they're there, and they're gr the the you know the uh, green hopped beer. Uh, we are hopefully going to get that at the micro, one of the micro pubs um, in Beeston, not Beeston, uh, one of their micro pubs, either the Barrel Drop or Doctor's Orders. And again, um, I'm hoping to get the pump clips for the beer wall because, and same with Alter Ego, those pump clips need to be here. I mean, these pump clips are here because they're part of the wedding. These pump clips are the Raggies collabs, and the Raggies collabs need to be across here. I want people across the world to see the great breweries who have worked with Raggies beer reviews to produce a beer, you know, and uh, and hopefully it sells, you know, is what it is. But um, that is this video, yeah. So this Friday, no, sorry, Saturday, this Saturday, I'm going over to to Bridlington. Me and Andy from the Happy Drinkers. Andy's an absolute top class bloke. Knows more about beers than I ever will. Can get flavours better than me and probably does a better review in the grand scheme of things. Um, and he's a top class bloke as well. Um, we are going down to Bridlington to Brid Brewer's Tap Room. Meeting up with Mr. Brid Brewer himself. We're meeting up with two or three of his mates who watch the Raggy's Beer Review channel. So that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to take some own brew. I was going to try and get some local beers to take with me. But sadly, um, I'm not sure the beers that I want to take will come through in time. So I'd rather just take home brew. And uh, we can review my home brew. We can slag it off. It is what it is. Um, and if, if we drink it there, then I'm not drinking it here. And I can lower my ABV consumption, which is always good. Um, but that is where we're going. So, you know, from me to every single brewery that I've mentioned, massive thank you. You know, you are as much of Raggy's Beer Reviews as, as anybody is. And uh, my heart goes out to each and every brewery that's held their hand out and says, uh, come along, you know, come and join us. You know, they may or may not like me. I have no idea. But um, you never know, you know, people are, people tolerate you. <laughs> but, um, you know, I have a love for the beer scene. Uh, I've genuine, you know, care for the breweries that are, are close by and further afield as well, which is why I do what I do. You know, I generally get offended by breweries where they take the mick and I, I see it and... But, you know, that, that is what it is. Yep, I'm not mentioning those breweries. But, uh, yes, the, the, it, it does happen, you know. The, the, there's there's an olive branch under that. And then it's like, woo, gone. And, uh, yep, it is what it is, you know. Uh, that's up to them and them only. But these breweries that I've mentioned, all those breweries, um, you know, deserve their plaudits all amazing breweries to be fair all doing some uh, great stuff for 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 the beer industry both modern traditional and craft beer and a blend of both as well some some actually do both and do it really bloody well as well um so the collaborations of raggy's beer reviews uh yeah kind of cool really you know <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, it's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah. What a hobby can do. And doing this social media shite, you know. But anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon.